round three of the season took us to China where it's all going down teams bring upgrades and the field is really really shifting up in practice Williams's George Russell was on top for most of it but the Ferraris were still trying their hardest and were still there the Alfa Romeos were there as well meanwhile though Brown was struggling very much so and looked like he was already back in Australia and this is an incident what happened in qualifying Brown looking for a space and Pig Gasly hits the back of him and Pig Gasly has a five place grid penalty for this race so this is a grid then for the Chinese Grand Prix it's Max Verstappen on pole with George Russell P2 Lando Norris is still impressing in P3 with Sergio Perez P4 P5 is Charles Leclerc and P6 is Pierre Gasly with his 5 place grid penalty P7 is Lewis Hamilton and P8 is Sebastian Vettel rounding out the top 10 is Valtteri Bottas and the Italian Antonio Giovinazzi Carlos Sainz having a poor qualifying with Nico Hülkenberg shadows of his teammate in P12 P13 and 14 is all Renault is Ricardo ahead of Butler then it's Lucas Weber alongside Kevin Magnussen Lance Stroll is just edging out Alex Albon and the last row of the grid then is Roman Grosjean with Brown P20 and last already for the second time this season it's a sunny day in China the grid's looking spicy this is the track then the Chinese Grand Prix the Shanghai International Circuit to massive straights hi guys Brown here and welcome back to the F1 2021 career mode 2019 career mode 2021 season I'm calling it um hope you've been enjoying it so far if you're new around here make sure to subscribe and like um but we've had an absolutely horrendous qualifying I'm back shadows of Australia and it's not good we're down in p20 we're just gonna have to see what we can do hopefully our race pace is better we're gonna be doing a one stop from the mediums onto the hard tires there's a five foot lights come on here for the chinese grand prix it's lights out and away we go it's all equal at the top the two alphas going to the middle of the field like a formation we try and go to the inside we've already got Roman Grosjean at the start here down the inside and now we're just going to see what we can do we're going to go to the inside as everyone's on the racing line goes wide and now we can go around the outside so like contact there with Nico Hülkenberg in the McLaren and we've got around the outside of them there what can we do into the rest of the McLaren there's a Mercedes rather in front of us that is of Giovinazzi we go down the inside of Giovinazzi and we've gained a handful of positions there so that is very very good skipping on now this is everyone filing through it's George Russell who leads by quite a fair distance as there's an Alpha and Charles Leclerc going wheel to wheel there that is of Sebastian Vettel and I'd love to say we were challenging Giovinazzi but we're defending Nico Hülkenberg who we seem to be battling every single race this season so far I think we didn't battle him in um, Australia but we had a good battle with him last time out in Bahrain skipping on to lap 3 and here comes Nico Hülkenberg he's on our inside and now into the hairpin you're going to see a lot of this throughout the video just hairpin moves as we defend round the outside and now to the inside and he's just about to stay ahead of the German and now he's left defending Daniel Ricciardo in the Renault as now in turn one they go I was the camera was odd because I was focusing more on my battle and Nico Hulkenberg turned defense to attack and tried to go down the inside of us that weren't going to work for him we defend him off but now but now he's still there you can see here he be, he's got a run on us and now we're going to have to defend but he kind of backs out of it there that was a bit odd and we've gone a bit wide and now he's going to try around our outside all the way around the outside we go there and now he's to our inside 
and all the way around the outside we try and defend and Nico Hulkenberg just just about to get that move done we're still there this is a great battle down the inside we defend somehow there it's good it's all good in the hood <laughs> and we're still ahead and still in P12 as here he comes again skipping on a little bit there and now here he comes again down our inside and round the outside we try to go this time though we go fairly wide and now we're going to be left defending Ricardo maybe but Ricardo's got a poor exit and now we can just do copy and paste of the last lap in this race and as you see as in the background now Ricardo fancies his chances at Hulkenberg so he can breathe for a minute as it were as down the inside goes Ricardo you can see there and he looks to have got the move done Ricardo but but as it goes to the inside for the next two corners Hulkenberg's managed to crawl his way back in front but Ricardo has the traction and does actually get the job done into turn six and now Hulkenberg's left defending Lance Stroll in the racing point as down the inside he has to go and defend Lance Stroll thinks better and backs out of it as here comes Danny Rick round our outside he goes we squeeze him out Lance Stroll's trying to go around the outside of Hulkenberg and now they're free wide somehow that's just occurred <laughs> as they just about stay where they are I think coming through is quite hard to see from the camera angle as Lance Stroll Dan Daniel Ricciardo has been the big loser as he's now defending Kevin Magnussen Lance Stroll's re-overtaking Nico Hulkenberg and we've just kind of been chilling ahead of all of it as now Kevin Magnussen fancies chances of staying ahead of Daniel Ricciardo here and Ricciardo still on the inside is still there Magnussen now having to leave in the space from the outside which most of the time is not very good at doing Magnussen of course threw away a podium at this race last year and get gifted it to us he was P3 and then pitted for another set of tyres with like two laps to go that wasn't good for him he could have a podium in his career but he hasn't we defend Hulkenberg again there we've lost out to Lance Stroll and hopefully we can get him back going on to lap 6 in this race and heading into turn 1 turn 1's and um, depending on what line you take you can gain quite a lot of positions and time is skipping on a couple of corners later we go for the lunge down the inside of Lance Stroll we go wide on the exit though because it was so late and Lance Stroll back round our outside re overtakes us there's contact there even and now Nico Hulkenberg overtakes us as well so that's not been good for us We've tried to gain one, but we've lost one instead. Nico Hulkenberg, brave at taking us, and that puts us down now into P14. And now we're going to have to defend Kevin Magnussen behind us. He thinks about it on us, down the inside. And now we're skipping on to the back straight. You can see it's all kicking off now. He can Lucas Weber trying to get past. We would have seen Ricardo on the other side. Now we've lost potentially three positions here and we have as we go very 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 wide and we've lost three positions there to Magnussen to Weber to Ricardo but we've lost out we managed to gain it back on Daniel Ricardo and now Devin Butler's fancying his chances of getting past his teammate that's not worked out but from the very first lap we go wide in fact, we'll come back to that point in just a second we go wide, Daniel Ricciardo tries to go back down our inside we have to stay behind the inside line to cut back at him and now we can have a go at getting past Lucas Weber into this corner down the inside and there's contact, we hit the back of Kevin Magnussen Kevin Magnussen now loses the back end and we've somehow gained those three positions back and this is a replay of what happened we actually hit the back and we have damage to the front wing and basically what happened when we went down the inside of Giovinazzi at the start of this race we had damage to one side of the wing and then when we just hit um, Magnussen 
We've damaged the other side, so we have a full yellow wing now. This is a replay of what happened a couple of laps ago. And now, yeah, we just have to deal with this front wing. And it was absolutely horrendous. So that's where my pace went when the front wing went. And that was on the very first lap. So God knows where we could have actually been in this race. You can see the train behind us. I think everyone apart from the top 10 is in this train to be honest. As now here comes Lucas Weber, our F2 teammate, got to battle with laugh time along with Devin Butler as well. As we're going to have to defend to the outside now and it's all kicking off it looks like. It's like a car park through the hairpin there as we go through round the final corner. Everyone's just following us. As here comes Kevin Magnussen now trying to get his own back down or inside. Those in the background have actually caught on the back of us here on lap 8. And Ricardo's gone back down or inside and now is actually challenging um, Kevin Magnussen. As we went wide, we somehow gained the place back there on Daniel Ricardo. And now Ricardo's lost out to Lucas Weber, so it's all happening here. And on lap 9, out of the race goes Max Verstappen. He's the championship leader by quite a lot of points, but he isn't going to be now as out of the race he goes It's an engine failure. We've seen a lot of failures for Mercedes engines this season and not one for Ferrari, but it's gone eventually and that's only three rounds. So Ferrari's we go very, very wide there. So Ferrari needing to do some R&D then on their engine side as into the final corner we go after going wide we somehow defend that position again but it is Ricardo Ricardo our absolute nemesis in this race he keeps trying and trying don't need to get past us but he just can't and now skipping on one more lap we've actually pulled a small gap out and here comes the two um Right now it's going wheel to wheel, Lance Strong finishes the chance down, down his inside and it, they're free wide into the hairpin and that didn't end well, it normally doesn't. We go off to the pits here because I just couldn't do another lap with that front wing. So as we go into the pits, this is what ha happened out on track. So Lance Stroll goes all the way around the outside there of Daniel Ricciardo. Ricciardo goes wide, Devin Butler fancies his chances as this is our stop. We go into the hard so we, they fit us a new front wing and we'll carry on and see what we can get out of this race and back to what was happening a couple of seconds ago and Devon Butler does actually overtake his teammate skipping on one more lap onto lap 12 round the outside Daniel Ricciardo tries to go on Devon Butler he couldn't quite do it Kevin, Ma Kevin Magnussen in the background trying to have a little look, couldn't do that either. And you can see how like spread out all these cars are now with us not holding them up. At the front we were practically a safety car, we were that slow. As on to lap 12, the end of lap 12, into the pits comes Devon Butler to make his one and only stop. And a hell of a lot of laps later, we were on the final corner to finish P17. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. It's been coming for a while, this one. What an excellent win for Williams. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Well, time management probably played quite a large role in the outcome of this one. As ever, it's not just about speed, it's all about maintaining that speed consistently over a stint, over a race distance. So being able to keep up the lap times while still being smooth on the controls and gentle on the tyres, that's really where the race was won today. Williams have put in an incredible performance out on the track today. I'm glad all the hard work of theirs has finally paid off.
So George Russell gets our first win of the season for Williams and Williams' first win since Pastel Maldonado at the 2012 Spanish Grand Prix. Wow, that's nearly 10 years Williams have gone without a win. Wow, that's a decade. So that's been your 2021 Chinese Grand Prix and it, a lot of action in the first stage, not a lot in the second. I was just going round and around, but at least we didn't finish last. George Russell has his first points on the board. 25 is not a bad number to have after three rounds. Bear in mind he retired last time out in Bahrain, so that's not too bad. Uh, Max Verstappen still actually leading, but that gap has been sliced down to 12 points. And with that win, George Russell puts Williams' first points on the board for us. What on earth was that performance? Come on, this isn't bumper cars at the fairground. Your results and conduct here matter, so pay more attention. So Emma, really not happy with us there, which you can't blame her. But to be honest, we, we could have got some serious points, I think, that race. And it's a bit of a shame what a, what a difference 12 months made. We got a podium. 12 months later, 17th. So we actually have the best car on the grid apparently. Um which I could I can see, I can see. Um obviously George Russell just proved that. We definitely didn't prove that, but hey, you know, let's see what we can do. We've got Baku next, I'm a big fan of Baku. We've kind of got the dull first three rounds out of the ring. Um I don't mind Bahrain, but China and Australia definitely the more boring tracks on the calendar. If you enjoyed this, this episode, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe as well. Hope you enjoyed it. It's been a very fun video to commentate on and kind of chaotic to keep up with with the commentary. So if you enjoy these videos, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe as well if you're new around here. And I'll be back soon with Baku. Goodbye.